Hello everyone around the world, it's Monkey Mid here again for another roundup of KISS a Singles, a 7 inch singles that is. Uh, it's a lovely bright sunny day, so I don't want to spend too long doing this because I want to get out in the garden. Um, anyway, um, I think the last program I did about KISS singles was a long time ago now. Um, so I've collected quite a few. Now I'm not going to bore you with the standard singles, I might just touch on them a little bit. So I think really we want to see Kiss singles with lovely picture covers or something really different about them. Um, even though there's loads of standard Kiss singles you can collect or the ones with the different plant numbers, I think I've touched on plant numbers. In fact, I think I've uh, kind of like fell into that trap. I'm starting to collect uh, different singles, Kiss singles with plant numbers. Holy shit, I never thought I'd fall into that trap, but I have. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with the plant numbers because you can watch the uh, the other KISS um, program that will talk to you about plant numbers. Uh, I want to keep you guys um, awake, not asleep. Um, so I might just touch on some boring bits that might appeal to some of you guys. But anyway, enough of the talk. Um, let's crack on, as they say. Right, first one. Um, okay, this is a nice one, this. Um, I will take them out of the covers because sometimes you do get a bit of a glare from plastic covers or records with plastic covers on them. So there we go. Um, this is a, um, uh, a Mexican import of uh, Lick It Up. This is an EP. It's a four track. Uh, very nice, this one. Um, I don't normally collect stuff um, from the non-makeup uh, period, but Lick It Up, I really like the album. And this is a bonus because it's not a picture uh, from the Lick It Up period, okay? Um, although I don't like that when they do records, or Kiss records, when they put the wrong periods on. This I can um, kind of like overlook that. Because uh, the other three tracks are probably around this period. You've got Charisma, you've got I Was Made For Love New and Detroit Rock City. Uh, in fact, uh, none of those um, apply to Eric Carr at all, apart from uh, Lick It Up. So it's a four track um, single. Uh, this comes normally with a wrap round poster. Uh, I'll sod the poster, I couldn't find one with a poster. And if there is, if there is one out there, it'd probably be another 150 bucks on top or whatever sort of thing. Now I'm probably exaggerating. It'll be a lot more than what I paid for, which was less than 20, um, yeah, less than 20 pounds, this one, which is good. But anyway, I'll show you the inside. So it does come with a, um, a poster, as I said. Oh yeah, it's, uh, that's the back to it. I'll show you the front. There we go. Um, it's kind of like a fold out thing. Um, I've, you guys who collect Kiss singles will have noticed that uh, all the Mexican EP picture cover ones, they come with a sleeve like that, which is uh, a bit half-assed in, uh, in my books. I personally would have uh, glued the top you know, sides and the bottom, whatever sort of thing. But anyway, that's how it comes. Who am I to complain? Uh, here's the record. Uh, disco poster. But I haven't got the poster. Okay, there we go. Quite a nice... Um, label actually uh, a bit different to the Casablanca filmworks or camel or whatever sort of thing so it's quite nice to have something a bit different so there you go so that's the four track Mexican EP of lick it up get it if you can so there we go anyway let's get on to the next okay this is one of those uninteresting ones okay uh, I'm not even gonna get it out of the plastic sleeve this is a uh, um, sure knows something a UK pie label I got this because it's got the uh, knockout center or as a lot of people call it spokes okay there you go. dirty living on the B side nothing that interesting unless you're becoming like me which I don't recommend um, but that's the spokes one spokes one uh, or knockout center of Sean O'Sum is actually quite hard to find, okay? Uh, if you want to go down that road, try and find one of these. There you go. All right, next up. Ah, okay. Um, I don't normally collect reissues. This is uh, the 2012 um, version of Paul Stanley's Hold Me, Touch Me. Uh, this obviously came from the Casablanca singles box set, okay? That said, I don't normally collect these, but the variant was quite interesting, so I got it for around £15, £16, it's cheap, so I thought I'd get it. Um, I'll show you the next one, because um, um, I'll go into it a little bit more on the next single, but this is the Paul Stanley one, there we go. Uh, it's meant to be a copy of the... Uh, um, of the UK Pie one, um, but when you get the record out, it's uh, it's not. 
because the UK Pie one obviously has a picture of Paul Stanley's um, face on the front there. <coughs> and this one hasn't. This is based on the American version of the single. And it's not even purple, really. Or is it purple? It, to me, it's more blue. But sometimes when you shine it in a different light, it come, becomes a little bit purple. But this is blue. And that's kind of like why I've got it, because it is um, it is slightly different. But anyway, there we go. Um, I'll put that there. Um, the poster, uh, do you know what? If you're going to do something, do it properly, okay? It's not a poster, sorry. It's uh, the mask, but they, they haven't cut round it. But I have heard um, from someone else that it would have cost a lot of money um, for Universal to actually cut round this and make it into masks. There's a lot of big bucks involved there, so they left it as that. But I'm kind of thinking, uh, don't bother doing it at all then. But that's just my opinion, okay? Um, it's okay. And that's one of the reasons why I bought it, because it is very different to the UK version. Obviously, the UK version was all cut round, da da da, and the, the eyes were cut out, and whatever. You, you know what I'm talking about, okay? There you go. So, that is the 2012 single of Paul Stanley. Okay, hold me, touch me. There we go. Let's slip that one back in. Okay. Next one. Okay, again, this is the uh, reissue, 2012 reissue for the Casablanca box set, uh, Peter Christopher single, You Matter To Me, okay? And again, it's the same as the Paul Stanley one. Uh, the mask is not, I'll, I'll show you anyway. So, so there, there you go, that's that, that's that. Uh, and again, the green is very different, okay? It's like a see-through green, whereas the UK Pie version is more of a solid green, okay? There you go, it's the other side, which is uh, hooked on rock and roll. Uh, but again, they, they, they tried to copy, not try, no, they copied the sleeve for the, for the UK, from the UK Pie version, but the single is like from the American uh, version of the single. Um, but the titles don't really match up. You Matter To Me on the single there. Uh, on the label, it's You Still Matter To Me, which is how the Americans um, kind of like titled it. So, yeah, it... I think it's a bit crap, really. Uh, not great. And even the printing on the label is a bit counterfeit kind of feel to it. It's not a great printing on it. It's a bit shite, really. But I like the variation. I like the colour of the single. Um, I don't know what uh, what Universal are thinking, whether they're trying to copy the Pi um, version. If you are, when go all the way and make it look proper. But oh, would you know what? There's probably a lot of red tape behind all this. And again with the mask, it's um, the same thing. It's on a sheet, okay? There you go, on a sheet. So, as I said to you before, it would have cost a lot of money to, apparently to cut all around that. And I could imagine it would do. But I just sometimes feel, I don't know, it's just uh, not really up to scratch, okay? But uh, there you go. But still, ni nice to have, because it is a, a quite a big variant on that compared to the UK version. Anyway, that's... You matter to me, or for you guys in America, you still matter to me, okay? There you go. Next up, we have, oh Christ, okay. Uh, this is a, an Argentinian version of I Was Made For Loving You. Now I got this from Discogs, and it was classed as VG+. I don't care about the sleeve so much. Um, but that, to me, is not... BG plus, okay, that's a little bit, um, a bit tatty, really. But a lot of the South American things are really hard to find in good condition. They're either written on, or there's biro, there's pen marks on it, or something. I'm not quite sure. I would imagine it's got a big X on there to say to the DJ or whoever's playing it, play this side. Don't play hard times because that's not the one that's in the charts. Um, but I got a partial refund back for this one. Um, but still, they're, they're, they're nice to have because they are quite um, quite bloody rare, really. Uh, and I quite like the uh, sleeve, music horse sleeve. I don't know if this comes with it. Um, but it's got da-da-da, some address down here. And it's got an Argentinian address. So I'm just going to keep it as it is, you know. Um, thank God I didn't pay too much money for this one. Right, next up we have, oh, okay, this is uh, uh, another non-picture cover, um, Kiss single. Uh, this was well worth picking up. I, my, my jaw dropped when I saw this. 
Uh, this is uh, um, Kiss's first UK single, Nothing to Lose, okay? B-side is Love Theme from Kiss. Um, I, I think I showed you the demo, I had the demo version uh, of this record a couple of episodes ago. Um, but funny enough, the stock copies are harder to get than the demo versions. I don't know why they're called them demo, they should really be promos, wouldn't they? But uh, on the record is marked demo, okay? But it's nothing to lose, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, love theme from Kiss, and I picked this up in our local record shop downtown for an absolute steal. Um, so I, I, I'm I, fifteen pounds. I mean that is such a good deal. These EMI uh, Casablanca EMI uh, singles are becoming really hard to get now. So uh, if you see one that you haven't got in your collection, get it. Or even if it is in your collection, have another copy. <laughs> anyway, that's nothing to lose. Okay, first. UK kiss single. Next up, okay, uh, I'll just might as well show you the two. I can't bother getting that plastic cover. Uh, rock and roll all night, uh, studio version, or rock and roll light, live version. Um, uh, the different fonts, uh, so obviously different plant plants maybe. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. That's got a bigger, thicker font. That's got a slightly smaller, thinner font. I need to get a life. Let's move on. Okay, now this is, this, this is, um, this is a wow. Okay, actually I'll get this one out of sleep. This one uh, came from a, um, a friend of mine, um, Arjun. I did a, a swap with him for a lot of Kiss cassettes. Uh, thank you very much Arjun, I really do appreciate uh, you giving me these Kiss singles, or doing a swap, not giving to me. Uh, we did swap and I got this one out of it. Now this is uh, Shout It Out Loud, this is a Danish copy. Um, there you go. Now this one, this one is rumored that uh, there's only 2,000 printed, okay, which is not a lot. Uh, unfortunately, it's not perfect condition, there's a bit of writing up there, uh, but to get this is not easy. Uh, Danish Shout Out Loud. And the ironic thing is, this This is what, what is ridiculous. The Danish used um, the UK EMI Casablanca um, for, for the vinyl. They didn't actually produce their own for this record. So uh, really you're just paying for the sleeve, okay? Uh, B-side is Sweet Pain. Unfortunately the centre is knocked out on this one. But hey, if I see a cheap, um, a cheap one with the centre in it, I'll just pick it up. But yeah, so shout it out loud. Sweet Pain. Uh, There'll be a UK record inside here. Um, now there is a reissue of this on the orange vinyl uh, that was released, I don't know what, six months ago, five months ago, four months ago, maybe something like that. Um, they're going for around the 40 pound mark. Uh, not something I'll be picking up, but uh, it does look quite nice, I have to say. But to have the original version is much better in my books. I just prefer stuff that's original. But say it's not 100% perfect condition, but uh, try finding one of these. You'll be paying if you get uh, like a VG plus copy, a, a good copy. You're looking at about 250, okay, maybe even more, okay, 250 pounds roughly. So there you go. So thank you very much, Arjun. Um, I appreciate that, buddy. There you go. Anyway, next up we have okay. Uh, this was relatively interesting, I suppose, because um, they've used this in other countries as well. This is. Uh, a World Without Heroes. This is a Spanish copy. B-side is Dark Light. There we go. <clears throat> I say other countries have used this. I think uh, other countries use uh, I. Um, and they use this picture cover uh, to do their single for I. Um, but yeah, this is a nice picture. But I have seen this picture a few times on singles. Very nice. That's the original uh, issue. Uh, I think this was actually um, reissued on 2012 copy for the box set. It's a Kiss Casablanca box set. There you go. Whatever. Uh, that's the B side there. And I'll stick this back in. So, they're not too hard to pick up this one. Relatively easy ish. So, there you go. Well done, heroes. Moving on. Aha, we are back in Mexico. 
Mexico. Here we go. This is a four track uh, Mexican EP. Uh, I was made for loving you. And it has got nothing to lose on it. <clears throat> uh, let me go rock and roll. And Detroit Rock City. Okay. Four track EP. Uh, I'll get this out. As I said to you before, the Mexican EPs, they always come in this sort of uh, papery fold over thing, you know. So, uh, there you go. That's that. Uh, that's side two. There's side one. Uh, and there's side two. And that's the Mexican EP. Um, relatively easy ish to get again. Not too bad, that one. Next up we have our uh -huh. okay this is this is nice but again it's, it's not a picture cover but uh, I like it um, this one is Strutter okay Strutter this is a US blue Bogart label but this is the demo demo it's a promo version they call it the promo no, yeah more, uh, promotional yeah not demo the UK ones were classed as a demo for some reason as I said to you before uh, this is a promotional copy so it's Strata both side one side would be mono and one side would be stereo now this one's harder to get you don't see these often okay um, they're starting to go up a bit in price so if you see one for under hmm, 70 80 pounds pick it up okay um, but prices seem to be going up for this one okay uh, and incidentally, these never uh, came in the Casablanca sleeves. They came in the plain white sleeves, okay? Um, I think it's the first two or first uh, three albums, the singles from those um, the singles from those albums only came in a white sleeve. Or was it the first two? I think from Kiss and Hot Than Hell, they're, they're, they're only white sleeves, okay? Anyway, moving on. Ah, okay, this one. Another. Now. This, another um, US Blue Bogart label single, Let Me Go, A Rock and Roll. Wow! It's not the stock copy, okay? This is another promotional um, um, Kiss record. Um, to get the original stock copy, I'm sure you guys who collect singles, Kiss singles, might have seen it on some famous website. I wonder who that could be. And it went for quite a lot of money. But this one is a promotional copy. It's not worth as much as that. There you go. And there you go. Okay, so let me go rock and roll on A and B side. One side mono, one side stereo. Uh, one of these. Again, I picked this up for quite a good price, okay, around the £70 mark, and that's including delivery from US of A. But I think they are going up, okay, these. And if you get a stock copy, be prepared to pay <clears throat> between anything between $5,000 to $10,000, depending on condition, okay? There you go, so let me go rock and roll. <coughs> right. Last one, guys. Here we go. Ace Freddy, rip it out. Oh my God, did he release rip it out on seven inch? No, this is a counterfeit, okay? Well, it can't be a counterfeit because it was never released originally. So this is like a, a bootleg stroke counterfeit, okay? So this is rip it out on the A side and what's on your mind on the B side. Uh, it says promotional copy. Oh, really? Yeah. No, if you ever see one of these, rip it out. Um, seven inch Ace 3D UK Pie label. It's not official, okay? But still, nice to have. Uh, well, in my mind, I know there's a lot of you people out there. No, you can't have that. That's your collection. That's not the real thing. Yeah, fuck off. Um, so, rip it out. Um, if you see it, it's worth getting. It's, 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 it's quite hard to get. Uh, say quite hard, it's hardish to get, okay? So there we go. Um, that is it, uh, boys and girls, for the time being. Until next time, uh, I might do a part two of this if I got time. Um, it is getting rather hot up here. Even though it doesn't look like I'm sweating, I am sweating like a pig here. So I will bid you farewell. Uh, stay safe and look after each other. Ciao!